Okay, today we're talking skate shoes. Nike SB versus Vans. Which one to choose? So from both of these companies I've had lots of pairs of skate shoes. That's probably one of the main reasons I wanted to make this video. But also chances are pretty damn high that in your favorite skate shop both of these companies can be found. They're pretty much amongst the most popular skate shoes out there. Alright so which one supposedly disrupted the skateboarding industry? Which one is a better shoe and uh, what company should you support? How about we talk about this in uh, two ways, the shoe itself and the company. Alright, quick introduction, Nike SB. Anyone that's been skating for a little while knows that there is a huge controversy around this brand. You know, they get accused of disrupting the skateboarding industry. They're not skater owned, they're a huge corporation that only cares about money, not about skateboarding. At least, that's what real skateboarders tell me whenever I wear them. I mean, Nike SB, bruh. That already. You know this might be true but I also think a big part of the skaters just like to hate on it because they think it's a cool opinion to have. They like to hate, love to throw out that sentence while wearing a pair of Converse. By the way Converse is owned by Nike so you better take off those shoes corporate asshole fucking non-supportive. Nike might have gotten in it for the money. They're not a core skateboarding brand and now they do have the best skateboarders on their team. It just pisses people off. Fans however, that's really a different story because their roots have been tangled up with skateboarding. In 1966, Vans began manufacturing the number 44 deck shoe. It wasn't specifically made for skateboarders, but surfers and skaters digged it back then. They started buying it and over the years Vans started paying close attention and they even started sponsoring young skaters. So they started so long ago when skate shoes weren't a thing yet, skaters started adopting fan shoes so that's why Vans is a core skateboarding company. So to put things in contrast, skateboarding adopted fans, Nike adopted skateboarding. So looking at things this way you would say fans. Fans is the way to go because skateboarders chose fans. Yes, I really like fans too, but at the same time Nike sponsored a lot of stuff in skateboarding as well. Oh. Hmm. For example, my local indoor park is sponsored by Nike. The biggest contests out there are sponsored by Nike. Contests are also controversial, so uh, at least it gives me something to talk about, right? But they also sponsor the best skaters out there. I mean, I Shot Wear is sponsored by Nike. Uh, can't be that bad, right? Counter argument would be marketing. They still only do this for the money and it's only about the commercial side of skateboarding. It's not really going in depth there, but maybe you guys can show me some more arguments. Uh, would be cool to start a little discussion down in the comments below. That way I can see what you guys think of it as well. Just look at this quality comment I got 12 hours ago. <laughs> so all that controversial stuff aside, let's talk a little bit more about the shoes itself. These two are my representatives. One might have been skated a little bit more than the other, but it's not about these pairs, it's about the brand in general. I both really like the shoes I've skated from both of these brands, and trust me, I've been skating for about 8 years and uh, I've had lots of pairs. With each of these companies, you're pretty much gonna have good quality. You just should try and make sure that you get the pro version of the Vans. A little lip right there shows you it's the pro version. And with this one, uh, always make sure you get the SB version. Otherwise, you're just getting yourself a pair of regular Nikes. So these are the Stefan Janoskis, Stefan Janoski Hyperfeels. The Janoskis are definitely uh, amongst the most popular Nike skateboarding shoes. And on the other side, we have Vans Gilbert Crockett 2s. I also really I really like these, the Vans Gilbert Crockett ones, the number ones of this, uh, of Gilbert Crockett. Those might actually be my all time favorite skate shoe ever. Yeah, it's some real good times with those on. So with every skate shoe you get, it's gonna be different, but often, in general, Nike SBs are viewed as expensive and maybe a little bit overpriced even. They do tend to be durable and because of that, some people tell me that they don't have that much board feel, but that also really depends on the pair you get because these were the hyperfeel ones and as you can see, they had some pretty good feel to it. They were a little bit thinner as well. Fans are often viewed as good skate shoes. They come in at a more affordable price, but I often hear people tell me that they don't last long and that they're a terrible quality. All these things is really more of a general opinion about them. This is really more of what I hear people 
talk about when they talk about the brand in general and they're not really true now about these general assumptions about both of these brands I would say things are a little bit superficial because if we really look at the pricing for both of these shoes we can find cheap pairs for both of them and besides that I always get my skate shoes in sale so I really never happen to pay a lot for them anyway they're skate shoes after all so they're gonna end up like skate shoes so I really recommend that the general assumption that Nike SB is a durable skate shoe is definitely something I agree with the, I think they're definitely made of good quality sorry skateboarding industry I am wearing DC's now but the Nikes always seem to be in the sale however the general assumption that fans aren't durable is definitely something I don't agree with because you always should be just looking for the pro model if you're planning to skate fans get the pro model otherwise you're just getting a pair of regular shoes and the pro models are just as durable as a pair of Nike SB's so that's what I meant with a little bit superficial because there are just so many different pairs of shoes of these brands and as far as you know they might even be made by the same company who knows who knows I know here I'll show you guys right here show you guys what I'm capable of that stupid logo Getting rid of that stuff real quick. Copied it and it's signature fans thingy on the side. Now what does it even mean? Getting rid of the evidence. And there we have it. And there you have it, the truth about these companies. <laughs> ah, this is stupid. Of course they're not made by the same company. They're vans, not Converse. But the ultimate question, which one should you get? The biggest problem skaters have with Nike SB is that they're buying out skaters and thus taking money from core skateboarding brands. It's just kind of a weird situation because they do definitely have a team that cares about skateboarding. And then on the other side, fans, fans being fans, nothing really controversial going on over there. So then about the shoes itself, all those uh, general assumptions are just really assumptions. It really is about the particular pair of shoes you get. Don't just choose between these two, there are a ton of good core skateboarding companies out there. S, Lakai's, Americas, the possibilities are really endless. That's skateboarding for you. I'll put some links down in the description to some different skate shoes because ultimately you should really try and get a lot of different companies and see what you like. Ah, you don't really need a YouTube video for this shit. Just go out and skate on and peace out.